Good morning, Finnovate. I'm Sean Naismith, GM and Head of Analytic Services with Innova Decisions. And I'm Seth Bomwell, Product Manager for Innova Decisions, but today I'll be playing Michael Bolton, Software Engineering Manager. And we're here today to introduce to the world Innova Decisions Cloud, our next-gen software as a service designed to give the mid-market more control over decision management. What you'll see with Innova Decisions Cloud is the ability to integrate third-party data for real-time use, run machine learning models, run scenario tests, and deploy real-time decision flows to production without having to go through software engineering. Uh, why exactly am I here again? It's a great question. You know, at Finnovate last year in New York, uh, we demonstrated how a company launching a new near-prime installment loan can deploy an underwriting process in minutes using one of our solutions accelerators. You know, those are pre-configured decision flows made up of pre-trained nonlinear models, data source integrations, and business rules based on industry best practice, but also from our years of lending activity across the globe from our parent company, Innova International. You know, one key thing that we learned lending off our own balance sheet for 15 years is that tailoring machine learning models for your business is the best way to make the best risk and reward decisions. So that company now has been lending for six months, collecting data behind the scenes, and they've tailored their own machine learning model for fraud detection. Let me show you how we could get that into production. So the first thing we do is log into EDC Orchestrate. This is the decision management module within Innova Decisions Cloud. It's built using cutting edge technology from Sparkling Logic. As you can see, the decision flow is made up of a few simple steps. It starts by pulling ID Analytics Comply 360 for Know Your Customer checks. If you are who you say you are, we then pull in ID Analytics ID score for fraud detection. And if you're not a potential fraudster, we'll pull in ID Analytics Credit Optics for credit worthiness. Now, the thing is, our new tailored fraud model uses three new data sources. ID Analytics Network Attributes, Email Age Email Risk Score, and White Pages Pro Identity Check. So before we activate that fraud model, we're going to need to integrate those data sources. Uh, API documentation is the worst. That's definitely going to be an intern project. <laughs> Actually, you don't have to worry about any of that. EDC Orchestrate's already pre-integrated with White Pages Pro, Email Age, and all the other major data solutions providers. All I need to do is come into the EDC Orchestrate library and find the data I need for my decision flow. So after ID score, we're going to add in a new decision step. We're going to come into our templates and find network attributes. After that, we're going to add in another decision step and find White Pages Pro Identity Check. And finally, we're going to pull in Email Age, Email Risk Score. And boom, data is integrated. Holy guacamole. That would have taken my intern six months to do. Well, I just gave you more time to clear out your backlog. Oh, you mean more time to play Fortnite? Wait, what? Uh, nothing. Anyway, now that we have our data connected, we could activate our new machine learning fraud model, which has been pre-deployed to EDC Harmonize, the machine learning model training, deployment, and retuning module within Innova Decisions Cloud. Built on AWS, EDC Harmonize allows machine learning models written in R or Python to be uploaded and used through Innova Decisions Orchestrate. Wait, you mean we don't need to recode the models that our data scientists built? Precisely. There's no need to recode models as a set of rules or in a standard markup language. Once uploaded to EDC Harmonize, I can leverage EDC Orchestrate to make predictions and even produce reasons for why those predictions were made. Let me show you. After we call an email age, I'll go ahead, add a new sub-decision, find our pre-integrated fraud model, and pull it into our decision flow. I then need to connect this to our business rules. So I'll go ahead and connect that to fraud detection. We're no longer directly relying on ID score, so I could delete that connection, but we do need to swap out our business rules here. So I'll clear out that reference, find in our business rules that are based on that new machine learning fraud model, and there you go. We just deployed three new data sources, activated our machine learning fraud model, and swapped out our business rules. But before we get this into production, we're going to want to run some scenario tests uh, to make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, I did not see a project request for scenario testing. Did you read the memo about project requests? No, I did read the, the memo. I just didn't submit anything. That's all built into EDC Orchestrate. So what we did was upload some test seed data, and we could actually pull that into the environment. And what's happening now is that test seed data is being used to hit the third-party integration uh, test APIs 
run our machine learning models and our rules, and let's see what we get. Well, it looks like we were able to successfully pull in Comply360. We are who we say we are. Pull in our four data products, run our machine learning fraud model, check our rules, we're not a fraudster. Then pull in credit optics. Looks like uh, we ran credit worthiness, but we were declined. Let's maybe run it again. And again, what we're doing is hitting the, the demo servers of our, uh, our data integrators, running our rules and our models. So in this case, again, it worked well. And it looks like we passed, but again, declined. Everything's working good. Wait, what? In less time than it would take my engineers to read the requirements for a project like this, you've already got it done? That's right. All that's left is for me to deploy to production. So I simply come up here to changes, where I could see all the changes I made in my environment. For each individual change, I could either take no action, I could commit that change to the production server, or I could restore what's in my environment to what's on the production server. So let's go ahead and commit and apply. And there you go. We've deployed to production. Mind blown. <laughs> so to summarize, with the Nova Decisions Cloud, you can make changes to algorithmic decision flows in minutes without going through software engineering. I guess I really didn't need to be here. I guess you didn't, Michael Bolton, software engineer. But Seth Baumwell, product manager of Innova Decisions, let me ask you this. Is Innova Decisions Cloud limited to fraud and credit decisions? No, one of the beautiful things about Innova Decisions Cloud is that it's decision agnostic. While you might start with fraud or credit worthiness, you can move on to customer acquisition and retention payments and collections. Uh, Innova Decisions Cloud is designed to scale with your business in a secure and regulatory compliant manner. To learn how you can get on Innova Decisions Cloud, please visit our booth. We look forward to meeting with you. Thank you so much.